So, um, as you can see, the steering wheel is off, seat's off. You'll notice that uh, right here is a new controller. If I get close enough, um, you will see that there is a new pre-charge contactor with resistor and a new bypass on the bottom. Um, the battery is a bit clean up. Seats are off, obviously. Um, in the back, you will see the motor is gone. Um, there was a little hole inside the gearbox frame. Uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it uh, let a whole bunch of crap into the motor. Um, I've got some pictures I'll post. Um, it was pretty nasty. It's it's what I would normally uh, expect to see in a potash environment. Um, the uh, the dust got in and it just it ate everything and there's build up everywhere and uh, the motor's going to take uh, quite a bit of rebuild. Uh, we've changed the gear in the gearbox. Uh, that seems to have been uh, quite well um, quite well uh, sealed. Um, we've got we did a little bit of cleaning on the tires. We pressure washed it. Soaked it down in uh, in uh, vinegar to try and counteract some of the salt, um, and then uh, washed it off a couple of times and uh, spray painted. Uh, there's about uh, eight spray bombs of uh, trim clad flat black there, and then uh, in the middle here uh, you'll see one of the few parts that we actually have to replace, which is the spring. Um, the brakes will not come off properly. Um, we have replaced some of the cables. Uh, they were pretty badly corroded. Uh, we have replaced the uh, vertical section here. The, uh, the uh, ready rod that was used uh, is all, all corroded up. We, we put in some new stuff. Uh, new bolts and washers, uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, we tried to get a hold, uh, get the uh, accelerator pedal apart. Uh, didn't want to come apart. It's actually very well built. Uh, we gave up on it if it's sealed that well. Uh, we don't really need to take it apart. Um, it is uh, probably a couple days away from getting uh, put together and uh, ready to go.